Well guys, I just got permission on this spot. This is just down the road from my house. Um, I was kind of like wondering, like, cause like I said, we have five acres at our house and about a two acre wood lot and there's some smaller woods and stuff around, but I was trying to figure out where all these bucks were coming from because I had pictures of tons of bucks, tons of does, just tons of deer in general. I was just trying to figure out where they're all coming from. Um, probably just maybe a half a mile from our food plot and from our, from our house. I just came up on a pretty nice one here. You can see it right there. Let's go pick it up. There's just tons of deer sign in here. Oh, I think I, I, think I know what buck that is. Oh man, that is that beautiful. I'm gonna get some pictures before I pick it up. Man, it's just laying propped up perfectly like that. I saw that from pretty far away because like it's an overcast day and man you can really see these white antlers from the far ways away in here on these overcast days. Here we go. No chew marks. Wow. You know, there was two eight pointers that I had tons of pictures of this winter. I found one shot off of one of the eight pointers right in our food plot, probably 20 yards from the camera. And uh, I think this is the other eight pointer. Although it could be, I don't think it's the same. I guess I did find the left side, but I think this one looks a little bit wider. I don't know, it, it legit almost could be the match to the one I found. I'm not 100% sure, but I know, like I said, there was two eight pointers. It's definitely one of them. Oh man, there's no chews or nothing. Quite a bit of the rack, wax ring is still left, so I think this is pretty fresh because I found my shed in, in early February, so I think the wax ring would have been somewhat gone by now, so this is probably the other one. The other one had taller brow signs too, I think, so this is probably him. But yeah, that's, that's freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. This is just some awesome stuff. I'm about halfway walked. Got this property about halfway walked. It's only about 20 acres, but there's some really good deer bedding in here. So I literally found that shed like right here somewhere and there's a huge deer bed right here. This has got to be that buck's bed. I mean just look at how big that area is. Tons of fresh deer hair in here. I mean this is only one bed right here. There could be other beds. Some by some of the others. Oh there's another really big bed up here. But yeah that, that buck was either bedded here or really close by. Just another really cool looking bed. Kind of on this decomposing logs here and stuff. Wow. There could be some more in here, <laughs> that's for sure. Well, back out here, um, I'm trying to beat the rain. There's gonna be a big storm coming. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna try and keep this nice and short. First one of the day, right over there. I got permission on this property last year and walked it last year. And all I found was one old small four point shed kind of close to that cedar tree, kind of just maybe 50 yards back that way. This is just a real nice open area. That's all thick. That's all thick. Coming up to right here. And I spotted it right here. Kind of surprised me, but uh, wow. It's a pretty nice looking one. Oh yeah. Probably a nice three year old. Man, that looks beautiful. <clears throat> Busted off G3, but hey, I don't care. Shed's a shed, that's beautiful. Sitting sitting in the water like that, that's pretty cool. Probably dropped when this, this was all froze over yet. I don't know, it's probably been on the ground for quite a bit, but hey. This is probably number 29 or 30 on the year, I'm not even sure. But yeah, that's a that's a beauty. All right, let's keep at it. Hopefully, the, hope I don't get too wet today. But yeah, another overcast day. Just perfect days to look for sheds. Man, right on the edge of this cornfield here, all this stuff looks like sheds. Just look at it. And there's an actual shed right there. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Look at that thing. It's like all bladed out. Man, it looks awesome. Wow. 
If this deer makes it a couple more years, this thing could be really bladed out. That's awesome. Probably just like a two, maybe a three year old. Real high and tight. Sweet. Um, the rain's coming, but I'm definitely gonna have to come back to this spot. Wow. Well, the rain's coming. I'm gonna probably get out of here. It looks like it's supposed to rain the rest of the day, so I probably won't get back out this afternoon, unfortunately, unless I wanna get soaked, but this right here is what I end up coming up with. I only walk three and a half miles, so to walk only three and a half miles to pick up, holy shit. Huge lightning strike. Damn. Anyways, I'm gonna start running. That's my finds. I'm definitely coming back to this spot. <laughs> Three and a half miles for two sheds is pretty dang good. Well, here we are, back at it. Um, yesterday I got rained out. It started pouring right after I took that video after that, that lightning strike. And it just rained the rest of the day, so I couldn't get out in the afternoon. Still walking the same property. I only walked, like I said, three and a half miles or so, but I'm a few miles in now. I'm gonna finish up all this wet stuff on this side of the road, and then they have a small little higher ground hardwoods across the road, but just found my first today. I saw this from like a mile away. You can see this stuff is just beautiful red dogwood. You can see the shed right there. I mean, the deer just love bedding this stuff. I actually kicked a bunch of does out of here the other day. But uh, once you go over that way, it gets a little bit brushier and bigger trees, obviously. Pretty wet stuff in here, but just walking through like this and I looked up that way and I saw it from pretty far away. Usually with the beam, uh, with the tines down like that, you can see them from pretty far away. Yeah, it looks like there might've been some deer beds possibly here. Maybe in the winter time or something, but yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah, he he looks really similar to uh, the bigger one I found yesterday with the busted G2, busted G3. I mean, it's not the same bucks. I think it's the same side and it's a little smaller. But uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna finish up this place today and probably hit up another spot. So. Maybe I'll be able to pick up another one. That'd be nice. Let's go. I think I just found another buck shed that I had pictures of. I'm on a different property. This property is even closer to our little five acre property. They basically just own this cornfield right here and then this pine edge. And there's just like an acre of grass and wet stuff over here. So this is a really small place. I was just hoping to find Maybe some nighttime deer bedding, you know, just off of our property. Because we had, you know, that soybean food plot. It was just sucking in the deer like crazy. I know the does were bedding really heavily at night, but I wasn't sure if the bucks were bedding just off our property or where. Because I did find that one, like I said, in the soybeans. And uh, I'm sure the deer were feeding out in this field quite a bit too if they're feeding just basically right up and over the hill right there. Right here it is, just on the edge of these pines. The landowner said he walks around the edge of the field quite often just for a nice walk and <laughs> surprised he didn't see this, but whatever. Hmm. I think I know what buck that is. <clears throat> Squirrels are starting to get to it a little bit. Not too bad though. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I know what buck that is. This is, it was like two bigger eight pointers I found one shed off of each one of them and then this is another almost an eight pointer if you would have grew a brow tie I think he's maybe got a brow tie on the other side I'm not sure but yeah this is that younger probably two and a half year old eight point the other two eight pointers are probably three year olds so I'm kind of looks a little fresher than the other ones but whatever yeah that's awesome Number two on the day, number 31 or 32 on the year. So that's pretty sweet to find sheds off of bucks this close to the house. I mean, literally our, literally our house is just the next property over from that grass. So yeah, it's pretty close by.